The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate in vivo and in vitro techniques for the rearing of entomopathogenic nematodes. The in vivo method is accomplished by first incubating instar larvae of the greater wax moth Galeria melanella with infective juvenile or IJ suspension. Next, the nematode infected cadavers are transferred to a modified white trap so that they can be collected. The in vitro culture method is carried out by first preparing liver kidney or lipid agar plates and the desired symbiotic bacteria are streaked out. Then, IJ suspension is added to the plates and the nematodes are allowed to develop. Finally, the agar dish is transferred to a modified white trap for the harvesting of the nematodes. Ultimately, these techniques successfully establish EPN cultures and also form the basis for other bioassays that utilize these organisms for research. The in vivo and in vitro methods shown in this presentation can be used not only for research with entomopathogenic nematodes, but also for a wide array of experiments aimed at understanding prokaryote and eukaryote interactions. Demonstrating the procedures will be John McMullen, graduate student in my laboratory. To begin the in vivo rearing of entomopathogenic nematodes, Invert a 100 by 15 mm plastic petri dish and place two discs of filter paper in the lid of the dish. Evenly distribute one milliliter of the infective juvenile or IJ suspension on the filter paper. Add 10 last instar larvae of the greater wax moth Galeria melanella to the dish to create a